Look at the size of this parcel from Jellica. Put my books there just to cover the addresses, but it's massive. Okay, let's open it. <laughs> this is so big. For those who don't know, Jellica is my best friend from San Francisco. Hey, I'm filming. Do you want me to send you videos here as well? Or do you just want to be surprised when you see it on YouTube? <laughs> let's see what she says. <laughs> this is the size of my hand. Book three. <laughs> Usually this book is like the size of these two together. Handle with care. I think that should be pinned to me. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you notice. These are the socks I always wear for dodgeball. <laughs> she knows my favorite brand, Ralph Lauren. That's cute. This is really cute. Thanks, Jellica. Nail polish. Yeah, don't look at them. <laughs> Oof. Jay, for the days you want to minimize your screen time or don't want to carry around multiple cameras, I know how much you love and also appreciate taking photos and capturing memories. I hope you have fun with this little camera. Can't wait to see what you capture. Some of the prayers that I made to God were to meet similar minded, kind hearted friends. And I often joke to Jellica that I should have been more specific in my prayer because she lives over the Pacific Ocean and that's extremely far, a little too far. It's gonna be really sad now. I probably won't add this into the vlog, but yeah, I will leave it in because that's real. Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> these are so good. I just told her I liked these once and then suddenly I'm receiving them in every single parcel. Bless. <laughs> So these socks, thank you. The backstory behind these socks is because I was telling Jellica I use these socks and then she was like, wait, but have you tried these? And I said no and here we are. Seeing this already makes me want to cry. I'm probably going to cry, but that's fine. For the sunflower... <sighs> For the sunflower that you are since you bring so much light and warmth into not only my life, but everyone around you as well. Can you use it as a tissue? <laughs> Every time I cry, I think of that song by Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty when I cry, but unfortunately I'm not, so. <laughs> I came across an Instagram ad with these cute Christian shirts and immediately thought of you. I had to get myself the same, hashtag twinning. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34, eight. Feels really nice. I'm a very tactile person. This feels great. <laughs> And the stickers! <sighs> How distracted did I just get? Life is better with Jesus and iced lattes. Had to get you an iconic in and out shirt too. Gonna pick you up from the airport in my Mustang so you can get the full California experience. I kind of don't want to open it. 1992 at the beach. Did, they didn't have a 91. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't usually do this before dodgeball anyway. But this outfit, this outfit's a vibe. Love the cap. Obviously love the chrome all black. Excited. We got a win tonight. Laura's not here. Cap's also not coming. Got to win. I think we will win now that I've done this. <laughs> Excited. Oh my gosh. What's that? What is this? <laughs> what a vibe. <gasps> Wait, what's that? Is that Jellica's photograph framed on my wall? I'm gonna go now. Hello and welcome back to this week's section of the vlog for dodgeball. Starting off strong with some pretty cool dodges by Alex and pretty strong throws from our team. I really love holding off that first throw and getting them the second time when they're a little bit distracted. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Across this whole match, I think there were also a lot of times <laughs> where I don't want to draw too much attention to myself because I'm literally just standing there in the corner. But that's that's the whole point of me saying this. My team is so good that sometimes I was actually just standing there doing nothing. <laughs>
I'm so grateful that Cassandra and Catherine were able to play in Laura's absence. Actually, it really helped having two girls instead of just one because usually Laura and I have to stay on the whole match, but it was really nice to be able to take a break after that game. They also played so well that I kind of want to adopt them into the team, but there's only three more games until the end of the season. <laughs> I really wanted to leave this part in specifically because the ref was talking to me and Rafe and as I was distracted, the opponent tried to aim for me. Boo, you missed. Well, actually, you didn't miss. I dodged. <laughs> Wait, actually, I blocked. Okay, bye. Speaking of blocking, tell you who's really good at blocking and he does this a lot across pretty much the whole vlog and I've noticed this actually in previous games as well. Sean, keep a look out for him. He's the one in that purple colored shirt. Okay, so the guy in the white shirt got Rafe out, but then Alex got him out. I'm not gonna say it because you know what I'm thinking. So you've already said it mentally. <laughs> I swear some of my teammates need some lessons in high fives because Alex almost slapped me in the face in this clip. Honestly, that was pretty epic by Cass. She aimed for them while they were conversing and trying to decide who to aim for. And rewatching the footage of this is even cuter because I just love her smile. So this is standard, but Rafe's throws are, as always, very intense. And it's even intense to sometimes watch because when he aims for someone and he actually targets them quite accurately, it... <laughs> what am I trying to say? Basically, I don't want to be the opponent. <laughs> when I watch this. Phil got out two of their opponents within 10 seconds. That's, that's goals. You guys thought I was gonna say that's hot and you'd be right, that is hot, respectfully. <laughs> Part of the reason why I really like filming these dodgeball videos is because of the reactions of not just my teammates, but the opponents sometimes just seeing how happy they are, specifically in this clip, to have won most of the sprints and gotten the balls. <laughs> Something I gotta commend Sean on actually is how close he gets to that line, even though the opponents may have some balls. I slowly am growing my own balls, actually, <laughs> because of learning how to, I guess, do that. We hit half time and my heart was half full. <laughs> I'm just saying that because I do remember I realized I started missing Laura in halftime actually because we usually dance or do something a little silly or meet at our bags to drink some water and talk sh sugar. It's been a great game up until now. It does continue to be a great game. Now this is one of those matches where I was kind of referring to earlier where I felt like every time I went to want to throw a ball, someone had already hit the person that I was aiming for. If you look at me, I'm doing nothing, so don't look at me. Look at Rafe, <laughs> look at Sean, <laughs> look at Catherine, look at Alex. <laughs> I don't even think this match lasted very long either. That's, my team was just really on fire. And that is hot. <laughs> Something I actually really admire about Catherine and Cassandra is they're very good at catches. I could definitely <laughs> take a page out of their book. Also, that was a blatant hit and this guy kept staying on the court. I noticed that a few times already just by looking at these recordings. Unacceptable. That's not hot. Just love it when my teammates trip me over she just puts her body on the line she comes out with bruises and we win the game that's it <laughs> that's, all, that's all there is to it she's uh got a hell of an arm tell sean feels really bad in this clip because he's asking me if i'm okay and he looks really you know empathetic but I tend to laugh in these situations i don't even think that that's necessarily a good thing but i do tend to do that
But yeah, Sean, don't worry. It's just a scratch. <laughs> few calls across this match that, that I thought were a little bit confusing only because like an example in this case is Rafe and I both thought we got her out because the ball hit her foot but then the ref called her back in and said that she's still on the court so we played again and I guess it was just really really nice to see that I tried to catch the ball and I missed that was the sound from the opposition like it's just really nice to hear when they get really excited <laughs> Rafe got two balls. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> I'm loving how fast paced this game is like one second there's all five opponents and then the next there's just two like it's just epic everything's moving so quickly as well I love how well we work together <laughs> So as you can see here, I full on shoulder barge the opponent and in my shock and horror, I turn around having won the ball in the sprint asking, are you okay, good sir? And he takes the f ball out of my hand. So rude. No, it was good fun. Very cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, throw air. She's a good catch, as in, as in she catches good. Similarly to how I said I even like watching the opponent's reactions when they're really excited or happy, there's something really special about making people feel appreciated. It's not about getting credit. Just knowing I've made someone's day a little bit brighter and making someone feel valued is so important to me. In this part of the clip, I really wanted to say thank you to Cassandra and Catherine for helping us out because we really did need some subs for this game. And I said I had something for them and they were like, no, 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 you don't need to get anything. And I was like, well, it's too late. I've already got it. So you may as well take it. When I was rewatching this footage, I happened to notice my team's reaction on the left hand side, which I think is really cute. I couldn't make out what they were saying. So I asked Rafe and I asked Alex there quotes up on the screen which I think was also very cute <laughs> Do I need a fork? No, probably not. 
Oh, look how bland that is. Who eats that? <laughs> that's where it's at. <laughs> Sorry, that's so rude. No, it's fine. I don't understand is what- Look! That's got a thing on it, it's got nothing on the back. <laughs> oh my Here god. Here I was thinking you were playing a magic no, trick. No, I, I wish I was. I'm like an actual magician. <laughs> I just got to try and remember how to do it. But they literally like waterfall into each other, it's really cool. I think you need to ask for consent first. <laughs> is this okay if I do this? Do you? <laughs> oh my god, this is going to do my head in. Now I really want to do it. <laughs> you have to ask nicely. One eternity later. I give up. <laughs> I used to, okay, well, anyway, it is really cool when it does work. Are you ready? I was born ready. I got nothing. Cool. Um, hey, 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 how about you, how about you relax, <laughs> all right? Let someone else have a go. I can't do shit. Oh my God, I literally cannot do anything. Put the nine there. Oh yeah, that's true. I, I'm trying to help you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, are you? What are your tens gonna go? <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. I can't go on a three. Did you know it goes one, two, three, four, five? I actually didn't, to be honest, <laughs> as you can tell, because I'm putting a five onto a three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's better. We're actually in it now. <laughs> so crazy. It's stressful. Can you go backwards? No. Yeah, you can. I can? Okay. As long as it's up one, down one. I think that's the bigger part. <laughs> no, is it? <laughs> you just killed me on that. <laughs> I thought you can change it. Like it can, exactly. So, thank you so much. That's okay. I just assumed you were going to go get it for me. I didn't even bother getting it. That's fine, I get it. <laughs> it's 2024. Yeah. <laughs> Chivalry's not dead. Exactly. <laughs> You're so freaking just shuffling the fucking. I used to count money at work. Oh, really? Yeah, you'd have to do it really fast. Where did you work? The fucking cartel? <laughs> what the fuck? Where were you working? <laughs> Underground poker. Damn. Yeah. Didn't know that. Mm hmm. See? So that's how quickly the, <laughs> the, the tables turn. No, me. <coughs> wow, what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was actually so funny. Me, me, me. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Are you, you, you ready? I was... <laughs> Are you sure? I got it. I got Did it. Did you actually? Oh I my god. It. That fly. That was is pretty good. Bothering Tim for how long? <laughs> You're bothering me, but I'm not squashing you. <laughs> Checking out. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I was literally waiting for you, like she's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Oh, that's funny. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, come on. Bro. Yeah, 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 thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You can put the three on three. Look at us helping each other. I know, right? We shouldn't be doing this. Reflection. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ow. No, you're fine. Hey, Laura. Good morning. Good morning. So you're so pretty. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's very cute. Look already. Oh my gosh, I love her. 
love. Who are we? I just cannot believe how perfect it is to your car. Laura bought and brought a yellow umbrella with her and that's what she's referencing. You'll just wait until the sun actually rises and you'll get to see it a little bit clearer. It's so cute. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's even better in person. <laughs> also, have you noticed me and Jeanette repping the chrome? Yo. I was going to say we set up, but Laura... <laughs> set up pretty much everything for our cute little picnic while we sat to watch the sunrise. As much as you think it's beautiful through the camera, truly nothing beats seeing it through your own eyes. Similarly to how you want to take a photo of the moon and it never truly captures how beautiful it really is. But maybe that's the magic or the beauty in life and experiencing things in the now. Because I think sometimes things are too beautiful and they can't be captured perfectly. In this case, the beauty of the moon and the sunrise, like some of our best moments in life. It's not always about what you see, but how it makes you feel. And some experiences I think are too precious to be confined to a photograph or a video. They're meant to be lived, felt and cherished. And I know that this moment I will cherish for the rest of my life. But also a side note, it's so fascinating to me that seeing a simple photograph or seeing just something as simple as the sun rising makes me want to write poetry. <laughs> I think poetry has a beautiful way of capturing the inexpressible. It can turn fleeting moments into something so beautiful, giving voice to feelings that I think are often too complex for simple everyday words. Kind of like experiencing a moment that is intangible, but making it tangible. It's my aim with my poetry anyway. Try to make something seemingly ordinary and making it profoundly beautiful at the same time. I'm gonna take a cool, video because isn't this just so gorgeous oh wait why is this what? <laughs> oh oh hello <laughs> hello ladies and gentlemen <laughs> there we go all right we're walking to see the sunrise <laughs> apparently it's gonna be like a giant red ball it's gonna be oh that's like a dodgeball <laughs> back to the poetry thing i actually also once wrote this and i posted it to my social media so i'm just gonna quickly read it i think photography and poetry go hand in hand quite beautifully the way one captures beauty visually and the other details it conceptually but they both capture a moment in time and immortalize their subject isn't that beautiful <laughs> cap Oh, like thank represent. you. I got it from um, a friend of mine, actually. Oh, really? Who? Um, her name is Jeanette. Oh. And she has this incredible book called... Chrome. Chrome. <laughs> that is really hot. <laughs> as soon as the sun rose, <laughs> they go out like a beautiful, poetic dream. <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. I was saying... <laughs> The sun is like so quick. Like we've been here two minutes and already you can see the full sun. Yeah. But before, like while we were setting up, we've been here half an hour. Can you imagine how deep the sun would have been? Like, because if that's fast, just like imagine. Should <laughs> 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 I film that? You look so cute. Should we ask ChatGPT yeah, what, what we're are we reading? Gonna, what today? are we going to read? <laughs> Asking about like a Sunday morning. We need a chapter. How about a chapter? Psalm 19. Laura and I read Psalm 19 together. And, and if you're watching this and you might be curious, Psalm 19 is like a celebration of the world around us, showing how everything in nature speaks to God's greatness. In a nutshell, Psalm 19 connects the beauty of the world with the beauty of God's teachings and ends with a heartfelt prayer for guidance. It's a reminder that everything around us and within us points back to something greater. What a beautiful morning. It's so beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Me? Yes. No, joking. <laughs> well, that's who I meant. <laughs> the sun is about to touch us. That's what Laura just said. Oh, yes, finally. Hey, it's reached here. Yeah. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I know. I'm so excited. I'm cold. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs> this girl just jumped into the ocean. Oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cold. Cold, but beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Bible Gardens. Yes, there's a Bible Gardens in Palm Beach. Check it out. And then, of course, coffee. Always coffee. Always coffee. Yeah. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. This girl is in some pain from dodgeball and she's still reverse parallel parking. <laughs> like, look at my right arm. Look at either. that woman. <laughs> Damn. Also, she loves horses. <laughs> I do love horses. Hey. Let's go. 
go. Bible garden, here we come. Wow, what a view. Yeah, right, already. Just wait. Not for ourselves alone, but created for all the world. The Bible garden is made and cared by the friends of the Bible. <gasps> wow. So beautiful. They have plants <laughs> that are from the Bible, and it shows you like this one's in like Deuteronomy and Sam, and it's called the oh, pomegranate. pomegranate. Yeah, wow. And it, it references like the plant's Bible location. Wow. And then the crown of thorns. Damn, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, there's a corona <laughs> in the Bible card. It doesn't get damaged. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? It's really pretty. I love the corona. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. But it's been here since 1966. Yeah, it's been here since because the guy Gerald who found it just said it was a beautiful like the view was a perfect example of God's creation well well yeah he nailed that one didn't he yes the soft one yes. yeah bluebells I thought that said <laughs> blue ball <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> oh I should open your door oh. what's that get out of there it, yeah <laughs> oh my gosh the front of it is warm. Yeah. And it's like smells so good. <laughs> I, know, I love it. This is like I sometimes stand here to keep to stay warm. I know it's Should I, we is just that do nice? that for a bit? We'll oh. stand here. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's perfection. Oh yeah. That's hot. Yeah, that's so nice. <laughs> this one. Oh. oh wait, I think I'm gonna get high if I stand it longer. <laughs> but it smells so good. <laughs> Do you like the smell of petrol? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I said it's really cold. <laughs> Laura, what did you say? Well, eight hours ago it was winter. <laughs> and we're, we're also both in shorts and linen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coffee time. Oh, oh yeah. Cheers. Thank you so much. Oh, cheers. The cheers. Warmness. Yeah. Cheers. The first coffee of spring. That's right. It's the first of everything. Cheers. Today. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Cheers. Sorry. Right. Looking at us like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Serious Bro, with the bacon? What is that? Are you kidding me? Is that one side? <gasps> Did we get one order? <laughs> uh, we just won't order that again. What the? Ag no, see, what we waited like how long do we wait for this? 20 minutes for this. <laughs> we, it shouldn't be called a BLT, it could be called a CBF. <laughs> I'm gonna sue. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm suddenly in an affluent area and I'm like, I'm gonna sue. <laughs> See, people call Karen's Karen's, but I reckon it could be should be called Sue's. Yeah. Don't be a Sue. Oh, I like that. You're suing, yeah, you know? you're true. Not... Sorry. Wow, look at this home. Look at that. Is that a home or is it? I think so. <laughs> or a museum. <laughs> BLT. BLT, BLT. But um, it's a she called it. That's right. <laughs> It's so small. So small. Come on. <laughs> Big properties. Small food. Is that what it's like around here? <laughs>